These are 10 times the Kingdom Hearts series got super weird. I already know the jokes. Kingdom Hearts in its concept is already super weird. Like who decides to put Final Fantasy and Disney into a single game, but somehow makes it work so well? This guy. With Kingdom Hearts being built around crossing over into different worlds, it does lead itself to interesting moments throughout the mythos. But because Kingdom Hearts is so strange, its fan base is amongst the most passionate in the gaming space. I love this silly little key series with my entire heart and I'll be here to see it through until the very end. But with this love often comes out stories that might melt the general consumer's minds if they think about it for too long. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at more of Kingdom Hearts as a culture, the moment shared between the fans from something that came from these games. Because it's not only the source materials that has some incredibly strange bangers, but even some of the developmental stuff and the culture surrounding the games as well. We're going to be taking a look at it all. Upon doing the research for this video, I found a handful of things that I couldn't even believe. And I'm someone who has been seeped into the series culture for a decade at this point. I wanted to put it all together to share it with you guys today. Because Kingdom Hearts is already weird, but these instances bring it to an entirely new level. And I'm not even talking about things Things like this. As hilarious as that is, we're gonna take it a step beyond and look at the strangest things to come out of Kingdom Hearts. But first, let me know in the comment section below, is there ever a moment in Kingdom Hearts that made you laugh? Like a real haha -ha that might have caught you by surprise. I mean, there's this moment in Land of Dragons from Kingdom Hearts 2 that just kills me every single time. About time we got some grub. Hey, no cutting. <laughs> And while you're down there, please be sure to hit that like button. I don't have a little quip about liking the video today. All of my giggles are reserved for later. <laughs> Still, do the thing and be the best. I appreciate it so much. Now, without further ado, these are 10 times Kingdom Hearts got super weird. For starters, let's talk about everyone's favorite problem to deal with, copyright issues. And as a YouTuber, we know this pain a little bit too well. Anyways, Deep Jungle was originally a world in the first Kingdom Hearts game. You were able to travel around with Tarzan and explore a lush jungle with wild animals. Although it never returned in the series due to Disney losing the rights to the Tarzan brand, with the Tarzan rights returning back to the Edgar Rice Burroughs estate. With Disney losing the rights to Tarzan, Kingdom Hearts was unable to continue to use it in future games. In the very next game, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, the Deep Jungle is the only world from the original game that was not brought back. In early stages of the Development, we even get images of Sora fighting in the Deep Jungle, with a cut Jungle King card scrapped from the game. And Tarzan and the Deep Jungle were never seen again in future titles. But that's not exactly true, because weirdly enough, Tarzan content does appear in a Kingdom Hearts game, but not in the way I was expecting. In Kingdom Hearts Recoded, you're actually able to unlock the Jungle King Keyblade as part of the game's avatar menu. This is a secondary mode away from the game's story that focuses more on multiplayer content, but it does feature unlockable Tarzan content. And now you're able to equip the Jungle King to your own custom Keyblade wielder. Now, this is the only time Tarzan is ever referenced in Kingdom Hearts again. And Recoded released several years after the original Kingdom Hearts 1. Did the developers just sneak this in as a little bonus? Or was the Jungle King just separate enough from the Tarzan brand to be included? I'm just saying this is the only time it ever shows up again. It seems like a small sign of rebellion to me, since this is likely something most players won't encounter without looking for it. There's no other sign of Tarzan content within the game at all. This has been the last time the Jungle King ever appeared in a game. There's also the time that Kingdom Hearts put someone behind bars. Yes, I wish I was kidding, but this story is actually hilarious. So funny enough, this actually happened in 2023 back in August, where a Japanese woman was arrested for stealing her boyfriend's Kingdom Hearts figure, as the police received a call from a distressed boyfriend who noticed his figure was missing. Turns out his girlfriend had snatched the figure in an attempt to sell it for some money, as she was dealing with some financial issues at the time. The couple lived together, leading the police to have her as the only suspect. And because obviously theft is illegal, she was quickly arrested. And many equate the value of the figure to about $30. She probably thought the figure was a lot more valuable when initially stealing it, but learning that it actually wasn't worth much in the bigger picture, and ended up getting arrested as a result. I mean, I totally get it. Personally, if a girlfriend of mine stole one of my Kingdom Hearts figures, I hope she deals with the full extent of the law. Bring Sora back and nobody gets hurt. The boyfriend did the reasonable thing in that situation. <laughs> Another weird time is a Kingdom Hearts moment that went beyond the series by entering the world of memes. Obviously, the way memes become memes is ultimately something that needs to be studied for generations to come, to the point where this moment in Kingdom Hearts was sent to me several times by my non-Kingdom Hearts friends, showing an image of Woody holding back Sora, with the implication that Woody is stopping Sora from doing something. Woody's saying, let him cook. I like that the implication of this meme is that Woody is the one holding Sora back, when in reality, this cutscene is basically the opposite. After going through the final stretch of the toy box world, it's up to Sora and Woody to save Buzz. Right before the final confrontation with young Xehanort, Woody drops this gem. Whatever you're talking about, I don't care. It's a moment that is forever iconic for the Kingdom Hearts series. Like if you're a fan of the games, you know about this cutscene. But if you were to show this image to the general public, it has a completely different meaning. Like there are just people whose Kingdom Hearts experience is just this image right here. It reminds me of this one. 
Funny enough, censorship has been a big part of the Kingdom Hearts series since the very beginning, where something that might be acceptable in one country may need to be changed to be appropriate for another region. And there are so many instances of censorship in the Kingdom Hearts series, and that itself will be a video all on its own. But for now, I gotta talk about one of the funniest and weirdest instances of censorship. So when Kingdom Hearts 3 was about to release around the world, images of the game's Chinese release were shared online, showing off the 100 Acre Wood world, but this time Winnie the Pooh was completely removed from the images. He was replaced with a giant white blob instead. And the reason for this is because Winnie the Pooh is used as a jab against the Chinese president. In general, the Chinese government is very strict on how their president is being perceived by its people, as negative perception can be seen as immoral and against loyalty of their own country. This all began where an image of said president was walking alongside Barack Obama, which was later compared to an image of Tigger and Pooh Bear walking alongside one another. Since then, Winnie the Pooh has been used by Chinese citizens as a method of mocking the president and his ideologies. To counter this, Winnie the Pooh content in general is heavily censored whenever it makes its way to China, hence why the images of Kingdom Hearts 3 in China look like this. The 2018 film Christopher Robin featuring a live-action version of Winnie the Pooh was completely banned from being released in the country. The Winnie the Pooh censors are up, and the Kingdom Hearts series is just another one in its crossfire. When Kingdom Hearts was given its HD versions, it also received a handful of censorships. Usually, the big censors happen when it takes place within the cutscenes. For example, the time Will Turner was gonna blow his brains out, but decided not to in the international release. Although, this censorship is so strange, cause like... Okay, so in the original release of Kingdom Hearts 2, Kyrie was modeled with panties in this game, a small white pair with a red ribbon on the inside. And the only way to see it was by angling the camera in a very specific way in the world that never was. When the game was remade in the HD versions, they removed the panties and replaced it with a void. Now, was this decision made because players kept pointing that out, that this was even a thing? Because ultimately, you really need to go out of your way to see this. It's a different kind of censorship than the things we've seen before, but this isn't the only time that this happens. Back in Kingdom Hearts 1.5, they did the same thing with Selfie. In the original PlayStation 2 release, release on Destiny Islands, it was possible to angle the camera to see she has a pair of white panties. In Kingdom Hearts 1.5, it was replaced with a void. This has clearly been an issue at some point in development, because someone had to go in there and get the orders to remove these items. I would have loved to be a fly on the wall in this meeting, because honestly, that sounds hilarious. This is one of those really uncomfortable subject matters too, so we're gonna keep it moving. <laughs> In Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days, you're able to play as other members of the organization. It became the first time in the series that you could play as the main antagonist. And as one of the first spin-off Kingdom Hearts titles, it had its own fair share of weird and fun content. For example, each member of the organization has their own joke weapon, kind of a funny replacement of their normal weapons just used as a visual gag, especially for something that takes itself so seriously like Kingdom Hearts. It was dope to see these joke weapons in action. I love how Lexeus' weapon looks like one of those giant Easter Island heads, and the fact that Axel is actually running around hitting people with a Pac-Man pizza pie. And then you look at characters like Syax, who is also so gloomy and serious. And what did the developers give him? A giant banana! And this is the only time in the entire series where joke weapons have taken place. It's one of those things that brings a lot of personality to the game that doesn't change much of its source material, especially since you're only able to play as the other members of the organization outside of the story mode. There are even certain sound effects that go with the weapons. Like, look at Zigbar shooting off his hairdryer guns. Incredible. For this next one, it actually takes place outside of a Kingdom Hearts game. When Sora was introduced into Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, it was a massive deal. Like, I'm not gonna be out here underselling it, it still blows my mind to this day. But Sora's inclusion in Smash Brothers came with its own set of unique content. For example, there's this custom version of Dearly Beloved that can be unlocked in Smash Bros. It's a swing version, a bit more jazzier than the original. And in Smash, you can change the music that takes place within the stage. This version of Dearly Beloved can only be accessed in Smash Bros. only if the player has a save data of Kingdom Hearts Melody and Memory on their Switch. This was the most recent Kingdom Hearts Rhythm game to release on every platform, including the Nintendo Switch. But they made this the only way for players to unlock this song, meaning those looking to truly 100% Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and have access to the game would need to buy Melody and Memory for their Switch. Funny enough, I had IRL friends ask to borrow my copy of Melody and Memory just so they could have access to the song. The Hollow Bastion level otherwise wouldn't have the same level of sauce otherwise. And it's not like they put the song on the eShop to download separately either. They made sure that this was the only way to get the song. I'm sure they could have put it on the eShop for like a buck and people would have probably picked it up. Still, paying $60 for a game just to get a song in another game, yeah, that's crazy. So we all know the iconic moment in Kingdom Hearts 3 where Donald Duck is using Zeta Flare. <laughs> In the context of Kingdom Hearts, this was the first time we've seen a character use a Zeta-type attack before. Especially in a moment like this, where Donald seems to sacrifice all of his magical abilities to commit to this attack. He's never pulling out a move like this when we're in actual combat. But with Donald using Zeta Flare, it actually has marked Donald as one of the strongest mages in the entire mythos. Zeta Flare has appeared in a handful of times in the other franchises by Square Enix and has been a measurement of the other world's most powerful magic. In Bravely Default, one of the game's final bosses uses Zeta Flare as an attack, with the ability to almost kill its target with a single attack. Of course, there's the iconic use of 
Zeta Flare in the original Final Fantasy XIV, where the developers wanted to rework the game by starting completely over, they provided this gorgeous cutscene of Zeta Flare taking the entire universe. Funny enough, players were able to experience this in real time when the game was shutting down. For them to have an in-canon reason to show how strong Zeta Flare is, is actually insane. Like, Donald Duck used the same spell that wiped out an entire universe. But this is the same character that can't heal me when I need it. Is crazy. There's also an instance of Zeta Flare in Final Fantasy 16. I'll give you a bit of a spoiler warning now so you can skip ahead if you haven't gotten that far in the game. I still need to finish the game myself, so I'm kind of spoiling myself for researching this video. <laughs> Whoops. When facing off against Bahamut, he will use the Zeta Flare attack as a final attempt to take out Clive. But being an absolute unit Clive is, Clive charges right through the attack, defeating Bahamut at the same time, showing Clive ate the Zeta Flare right to the face. Would he be able to do the same thing when facing off against Donald's version? Maybe in Kingdom Hearts 4, we'll find out. It's just nuts to see Donald actually rank as one of Square Enix's strongest mages. Okay, so this next one isn't super weird, but it's something I think Kingdom Hearts fans would enjoy. So we know that the Kingdom Hearts series is full of talented voice actors, and Sora is voiced by Haley Joel Osment, and he's been doing the role since he was very young. You can see the evolution of Sora's voice as time has gone on. No, this huge black thing swallowed me up. I couldn't breathe, I couldn't... Ow. Our very best friends, they're here. And Haley Joel Osment continues to act in other projects, including live action stuff. When he's doing a Sora performance, he raises his voice a bit more to match that of a teenager. Although sometimes when he's in other media, the Sora voice finds its way to just sneak on in. We call this phenomenon accidental Sora, and I wanted to share it with you. They're all bad, but I swab them all the same because it's my job, which is actually really, really important. Unlike your job, which could be done by a Roomba. He froze. He froze because he knew that I knew what he was. They're gonna send him to the chair, Liz. And that seems like an easier out than this torture you're putting yourself through because you won't let him go. He's killing you because you're letting him. I love this. I love this so much. It's... <laughs> and the last strangest thing to ever happen in Kingdom Hearts for me takes place in Kingdom Hearts 2. It's one of the most iconic moments to ever happen in the series. After defeating Demix and Hollow Bastion, you're treated to a cutscene where King Mickey appears. He's attempting to discipline the boys, but end up folding as they prepare for their next battle. That is until we see a heartless robot on top shoot a laser and send out a boulder. And Goofy, being the absolute unit he is, pushes Mickey out of the way and takes the hit. Then the game spends the next 10 minutes convincing you that Goofy is actually dead. Just just listen to Donald's trembles here. It's common for RPGs to kill off one of their party members, and they even display what the party looks like with Goofy being removed. Even though he's only gone for one battle and immediately comes back right after, this is a real moment where they try to convince us that Disney Goofy is six feet under. And I can see how hilarious this looks out of context. But yes, these are just some of the weirdest things surrounding the Kingdom Hearts universe. In the next game, it seems like we're going to be stepping into a brand new real world, so that's likely going to have its own situation surrounding it. But I like how strange Kingdom Hearts is and all the stories that have come out of it. It's what makes this series so special and so strange. I love it so much. But seriously though, thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to comment, like, subscribe, and stay awesome.